Welcome to this video where we will be looking at the use of Connectrix wireless temperature and humidity sensor with mesh network and USB gateway product for Node.js. In this video we will be demonstrating how to use our temperature and humidity sensor and Node.js module to monitor environmental conditions with Elasticsearch and Grafana. Connectric provides an easy to use SDK for Node.js which allows developers to get up and running with our sensors very quickly with minimal coding. The SDK runs on macOS, Windows and popular Linux distributions including Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. Our software is available for install from the popular NPM package manager. To get started, simply require the package, then call the run gateway method, passing it an on sensor message callback function. This function will be invoked every time a message is received from the mesh network and will be called with a JavaScript object containing details of that message. In this example, we'll be using a Connectric USB router which we'll plug into a laptop and the Connectric wireless temperature humidity sensor. We'll also need to do some setup for Elasticsearch. First, let's review the messages that our callback function can receive. Each sensor has a distinct type of message with its own payload. However, all sensors provide some common keys such as the timestamp, sensor ID, a sequence number and a type key indicating what sort of sensor it is. In this case, we're looking for a temp humidity message. The temp humidity messages payload contains four keys, battery, an indication of the remaining battery voltage, temperature, the temperature reading, temperature unit, indicating whether the temperature is in Fahrenheit or Celsius, and humidity, which is the percentage relative humidity reading. There are many ways to set up Elasticsearch, so for speed we'll use Elastic's hosted cloud product which has a 14 day free trial. Having set up a trial account and signed in, we'll need to create an Elasticsearch cluster. For this demonstration we can use the default values which will not incur costs during the trial period. Once we have a cluster running, we need to note down the Elasticsearch URL and port for later use. We'll also need to note the password for the Elastic user that was set when the cluster was created. To visualize our data, we'll use Grafana, which also has a free cloud offering. Having signed up, we then create a data source that points to our Elastic Cloud cluster and tell it that the data will live in an Elasticsearch index called Temp Humidity Readings. Grafana also needs to know the name of the time field in our data. This will be timestamp. Grafana has a rich library of components for building visual dashboards. We won't cover this process here as Grafana provides excellent learning resources online. Now we'll go ahead and create a new NPM project in its own folder. Start with npm init and accept all the defaults except entry point where we'll use server.js. This creates a standard package.json file and we can go ahead and install our dependencies which are the Connectric USB gateway module, and the official Elasticsearch client for Node. We can now copy an example server.js file from the Connectric USB Gateways examples folder into our project. Now let's take a look at the contents of that file. First we require the modules that we need being the Connectric USB Gateway and the Elasticsearch Helper module. Then we read some values for Elasticsearch configuration from the environment and exit if those are not present. Line 20 initializes the Elasticsearch client and lines 26 through 73 are a function to ensure that the correct index exists in Elasticsearch 
creating it if it does not. In our temp humidity readings index in Elasticsearch, we store objects having keys that match those in the temp humidity message from the sensor. At line 75, we call check Elasticsearch. Then if that succeeds, we start the Connectric Gateway module, passing it an on sensor message callback. This callback listens for messages of type temp humidity and writes a new record to our Elasticsearch index whenever it sees one. It's time to try it out. We'll begin by installing the battery into a temperature sensor and sealing the enclosure. Then we'll start the gateway with the standard npm start command. The software connects to Elasticsearch, then waits until the USB router is inserted. Once the router is in place, the software detects it and begins to listen for messages. The sensor periodically sends a temp humidity message which the gateway module decodes. The on sensor message callback is invoked and it posts the data to Elasticsearch. Having left the sensor running for a period of time we can see raw data arriving in our Elasticsearch cloud. Grafana can poll Elasticsearch and display a dashboard showing various metrics in real time. Here we use standard Grafana graph, gauge and single metric widgets to show temperature and humidity over time as well as some extreme and average values plus the sensor's remaining voltage. This dashboard is driven by a simple Lucerne query to get the time series data from Elasticsearch. In this video we've demonstrated the ease with which you can integrate the Connectric Gateway and Sensor product into other platforms. We hope that you found this useful and thank you for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with us, please email solutions at connectric.com or visit our website.